Uh, now, out here we can see what are the different types of modeling nodes. We have all, we have selected all of them, but if you click on supervised, and these are the supervised nodes that we have, uh, modeling nodes. If you have an association no modeling nodes, then these are the association modeling nodes. And if you have segmentation modeling nodes, then these are the segmentation modeling nodes. So this came in scope in two step, two step AS anomaly. So let's click on supervised nodes. And out here, I'm going to click what? A regression. Let us click regression. And from here, I'm clicking on Excel, click connect with the regression. Uh, there are no targets here. Okay, you can see. Let's click here and see what are the no targets that they are talking to us about. Yes, there are no targets. So we click on custom fields assignment. We are setting what? Uh, All India has a target. What are the inputs that we are selecting? Bangalore, Delhi, Mumbai, Ahmedabad, of course. And let's select a uh, Kanpur and Kochi. Click apply. Okay. What are the partition and splits? No, we don't have any. I'm not interested in them. So I click apply, click OK. And then I click oops. Now we can still see that there are no targets here. That's what we are saying. So I click on model expert analyze annotations. What do you want to have the partitions on? None really. And splits. Um, let us have it on quarter. Apply. Okay. Apply. Okay. Now right click and if I click run. Yeah, see, now you can see here, type insufficiently specified for field, Mumbai, Delhi, blah, 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 blah. So these all are not having correctly specified, in, uh, the, the type is insufficiently specified. So let's right click on this, uh, let's close that window, right click, edit. So uh, what is the type out here? Uh -huh. Now let's come here, click edit and see. Okay, we are going to run this again. Let's see, yeah, okay, let's click on this. So, uh, we, the, the nodes that we have selected, these nodes need to be typed the their types need to be sufficiently specified so let's close this let's right click here um this is the type that we have here okay apply okay So you know, and still there are additional others, no targets. Hmm. Okay, so uh, let us click on this, uh, the source node itself, right click and I click on edit. This is the data that we have from where we have selected filter. Uh -huh. We have the filters that have been applied here. Let's click on types. Okay, so uh, these are what? These are all categorical or continuous types, right? So let us make them default. Default. Uh, we'll also make this default. Now let us see. Um, read values. Okay. Now let's see. Ah, see. Now after changing that types type, uh, the the types that we were having for each of the field or each of the column that we have in the data set, and here we can we have changed this right. So this is now all India. Earlier we could see here there was it was mentioned here no targets. So uh, let's right click on this and then now click run. So see we can see this is running. It's in green color. So the node is executing. And then let's see what output is getting generated because output that is generated will appear over here in this particular tab. The output tab, it is taking time to execute it. If you happen to click on this, the execution will stop, but I don't want that to happen, of course. It's going to take some time. So there is a lot of data and there are a lot of columns that are to be analyzed. I have to be a bit patient on that.
but it shouldn't take this long. Mm-hmm. See how here it is also showing us the amount of time that has been elapsed. That's one minute and 40 seconds. It should take maybe another couple of minutes at max. If not, then we stop the execution and then we find an alternate way of running it or executing it. But since uh, we have taken almost all the data points and uh, almost all the uh, fields, column fields, therefore it could be taking longer. It's very much possible. Again, the state is what it's only 50%. So that is the problem. We're going to wait for some more seconds, another half a minute, and then we'll have to stop the execution. If we take a look at the resources, then we'll come to know uh, what amount of the resources are getting used in terms of the hard drive or RAM. And, ah, see, finally we have it. So uh, what is this? This is called as what? This is called as a nugget. What do you mean by a nugget? That is something that I'm going to uh, pick in. Yeah, it was supposed to come here. Introduction to models and then nuggets, model nuggets. But uh, this is what your output looks like. So what it did is it executed this particular regression and then it threw up this nugget. Now let's open this and see. Preview it. Yeah, now this is what we have. Oh, where is it from? So this is the preview of all India nodes that we have generated. I click OK. I click on annotations. That's fine. This is the table that we have for all the values that we have generated. And for all E India, that's E in dollar nulls or whatever. Apply. I click OK. So the models have been generated here on whatever we have. Let's click on the outputs. So Audi is showing us the preview of all India nodes. Let's double click on this. Yeah, this is how it shows. And that's the second file that we have created. So uh, I'm going to come back here and delete one of these. Right click and delete. And yeah, for the nuggets, let us run. Okay, there are no executable nodes, so this is a problem that we are likely to face. But uh, in general, what we did is we okay, this is at max water region rate. When you speak of nodes, uh, we don't need this, we can remove it. So uh, this is what we generated in terms of outputs, streams, and also for the models. Uh, again, these are part of what this regression, particular regression that we I picked, that is part of the supervised modeling nodes. Okay, if I were to go for association nodes, these are the association nodes. If I were to select segmentation nodes, these are the segmentation nodes. Suppose if I take K means, so I bring it here. I say right click and connect. And then what? I click apply. What are the fields? What are the different fields? Yeah, these are the inputs. I take Mumbai, Delhi, and Bangalore. Apply. Okay. Export annotations, model fields, nothing. Apply. Okay. And then I right click, click run. Now let's see if it's going to throw up an error. Oh, no, I did not throw up an error. Rather, it helped us generate another nugget for k means so let us what what, what is it going to show up in k means we we'll click yes now that is how your cluster size looks like for well, there are fly five clusters that they have created and um this is the this is the model summary that they have if you click on clusters they show us the clusters sizes inputs and shapes for mumbai delhi uh, so the different clusters that they have created created here they're based on the different sizes. So uh, what is this size? Well, that is cluster four and the cluster size is 13. If you come here, this is cluster five, the size is eight. So uh, this is how your k-means works. Now that's a model, if you click on settings or summary, it'll explain you the iteration errors, and, uh, the fields of uh, build settings, training, summary, annotations. Now, wh what is this? These are the different views that are available so if you transpose clusters and inputs now this is what this is sorted by overall importance 
if within cluster importance, if I click this, then this will change. Sort inputs by name, that will also change. Sort inputs by data order, that will also change. So depending upon what you want to select or what you choose to select uh, out here, the display, the display slide, the display type will change accordingly. See out here, we see what, which kind of displays this. This is cells show absolute distributions. This is relative distribution. Okay. So, um, and this is how your K means uh, cluster is getting generated. And uh, lastly, what is this? Shell cells show basic information. This is the basic information that we have generated. Uh, I'll say, okay, 